happy Valentine's Day. Well, it was Valentine's Day yesterday, but happy day after that, I guess. And welcome back to my channel. Uh, let me adjust this. Is this not the right way to... Uh, that's better. Alright then. So, as the title may suggest, yes, I am going to review the Sweetheart Shake Flavor of the Month this month from Plant Power. That is going to be at the end of this video, but before I do, um, I decided I'm going to another new location. I want to acknowledge, um, and, and I just want to, from the bottom of my heart, I want to congratulate Glogs YT for surpassing 1,000 subscribers. Yes, I'm congratulating Glogs on 1,000. But I cannot believe he actually got robbed. Like, link in the description if you want to see why he got robbed. Like, I can't believe that. I had just watched the video, like, just a couple days ago, and I, I can't believe my eyes. But other than that, we're going to go ahead and get right into today's video. Are we halfway to March already? That is... We're getting closer to spring. I cannot believe this. We're getting closer to spring by the week. I can't wait to get to spring because um, we have a bunch of videos. And I'm going to be showing you guys some bonus material from some of my previous videos on this channel. And I'm also going to be... You may have noticed that I am going to be starting to remove some old videos from my channel because some of them I want to redo now that I have the Yeti stereo mic. So um, I'm probably just going to redo the voiceovers but I also have some additional footage that may complement them. There's that. Um, some of that was like from another video. I believe it was back in January when I filmed that. But other than that, we're going to get started, we're going to get going, and I'm about to go about the rest of my day. Um, stay tuned to the end of this video because we're going to try out the Sweetheart Shake in honor of Valentine's Day. So, with that said, um, it's going to be... Now, that <sighs> Before we get into further detail about that, that... La the last part of this video, that is going to be con a continuation from last week's video, which was the first Friday Night Market, I believe. Yeah, it was the first Friday Night Market that I went to. That was the last video that I did. And other than that, um, go ahead and get on with today. Can anyone take a wild guess where we are? I'll give you a hint. There's only one two-level parking structure here almost very deserted most of the time so there's always time to find a space but most of them are for compact cars it's anchored by a Burlington Coat Factory and a Macy's and a JCPenney it also houses one of it pretty much houses the only C's candies in the south in the South Bay area of San Diego County and also a wide variety of other stores Well, I'll tell you the answer later when we get back up. So it has one of only three Five Guys locations in San Diego County that I know of. There's another one in Imperial Beach, which is a bit south of here. And then there's one in Vista in North County, which I've also seen. Um, there's a bunch of new stores that have just opened up. Um, this one is called Chic Shoes. Yes, there's actually a shoe outlet here. Uh, I don't know how comparable I could give it to, like, the Skechers, Vans, Nike outlets. But then I'm also walking towards Burlington Coat Factory. That's one of the, um, well, it, they, they rebranded simply to Burlington recently, but it was called Burlington Coat Factory when it opened in, like, 2010. But they have more than just clothes. It's just like a normal department store. There's also some empty storefronts around here. Um, this one is... Um, it used to be uh, Anna's Linens by Fala's. They closed in like 2017. That's just what's remaining of it. Oh, and can you see me? <sighs> hey! Has Charlotte Roos come back to life? 
I'm surprised. I thought they closed like years ago. Have they come back to life? They sprung back to life all of a sudden? Oh my. This is going to be amazing news for my, for my vlog. Can you believe this? Oh, great. All right. And then there's a Bath and Body Works. Has not yet been refurbished. The renovated Bath and Body Works locations surprisingly actually carry a white barn gallery next to it. And that store has candles and all that other good stuff. At least Victoria's Secret is still here. All right, let's go ahead and head up this escalator. Now, I want to show you guys something, and I did not expect this to come, but one of the anchor stores moved out of this location recently. Um, in case you guys are unaware, sometime back in 2018, Sears declared bankruptcy. And, well, they pulled out of the Canadian market. They're pulling out of many more markets. They are pulling out of California market, and before they know it, they will also pull out of the U.S. market which leaves their only market to be Mexico. But it, this location has officially closed as of like a few weeks ago. And here is what's left. It's all gated off. So I'm just gonna push my camera up here. Look at that, abandoned and empty. First Kmart and now Sears. And here is one more look at that. They've been around for like hundreds of years and now they're f they've shut their doors. At least Macy's is still here. And I'm guessing with that, uh, we'll be on our way back. It is one of a few miles to have a movie theater. AMC to be exact. Regal Cinemas is still better, you guys. Let's have a look over here. This is where we were earlier. And I'm up here. Can you see me? All right, guys. If you can see me, like kind of my part of my reflection, then yeah, if you see me right now, you're a real one. So I'm in another town now. It's not very often that I do come down here. Last time I was he here was like two years ago. All right, you guys. So I just came out of C's Candies. The line was long. And that's what happens when you come on Valentine's Day, apparently, because apparently Valentine's Day is one of like two little days of the year where it's kind of busy with like chocolates and other sorts of candies. So, um, I'm actually going to walk over to Starbucks because I saw one on the way over here, so I'm going to go there. I'm going to get my little strawberry RC and then we will go back to the car and we will head home and I'll go and uh, wrap up the video. Oh, it's the green. <sighs> Alright everybody, but for real that is going to do it for the video. Just kidding, the video's not over yet, but I did get my Starbucks drink. And now we're gonna go back up to the car and I'll tell you guys where this location is. Well, you've probably guessed, it's the Chula Mall in Chula Vista, California. And if you look just straight ahead, it's into the sunset. That is um, the future site of the Bayfront Development Project. Um, the tallest of those buildings is expected to be erected by 2023. And who knows, maybe I'll come down again um, when that occurs. And now the moment we've all been waiting for. 
Let's review the Sweetheart Shake at Plant Power Fast Food. It's available all throughout the month of February, all the way until February 29th, while supplies last at their locations. This is a continuation from last week's video when I went to um, the first Friday Night Market and they had the Plant Power Food Truck. And let me tell you guys, it actually tasted pretty good. It's a rose-like vanilla flavoring, so it's basically just like a regular like, vanilla shake. Um, but it has a rose extract in it. And that's all I have to say about that. Let's roll term of the week. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh well. All right, it is the next evening now, and we're about to... <laughs> yeah, it is, the, it is the evening now. <sighs> I hope you guys enjoyed that little um, sweetheart shake review. And let's real term of the week. This week, because it was Valentine's Day, the term is Valentine. A Valentine has three meanings. Uh, first one, it's a card sent often anonymously on Valentine's Day. By the way, that's February 14th. I.e. the day before this video was uploaded. The day that I filmed this particular video clip as well. And I'm wearing red because Valentine's Day. Two, a person to whom one sends a card to on Valentine's Day. And finally, the last meaning is a date on Valentine's Day. Like some people go out on dates on Valentine's Day, so that kind of counts as well. But anyways, uh, I want to wish everybody a happy Valentine's Day weekend. We hope everybody has a fantastic and lovable one. Hope everybody had lots of chocolates and yeah don't forget to like and comment don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell join the notification squad and there's more videos coming up in the coming months so um there are new videos every week and we will see you when the next video goes up on february 22nd see you guys then thanks for watching